Why don't you use clockwise? Look at all that gross dead hair. You're gonna be beautiful. We just gave her her, her second antibiotic shot. She's totally blind on the side. Mm. Looks like she's looking at us, but she's not. So when we're done, she'll be all that pretty. It's like a gray, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mostly dirt, but. You have a cute face. He's testing out different techniques. <laughs> she check in your pocket. Me? <laughs> okay, you sweet. I've made um, a slightly annoying decision that I would rather have this aviary over with the other aviaries, even though we pulled it over here at one point, but it was before we had those. Anyways. It just makes more sense to have all the aviaries. Yeah, so we're moving it. This is more of an aesthetic Yeah. Decision. Yeah. This isn't practical. This is mm -mm. There's been so much horse stuff happening and now there's going to be like five times the amount of horse stuff happening. Bear with me if you're not a horse person and you want all the other animals. I promise that content's coming. Here's a little bit. You guys know about these two. They took us like a year to get finished. <laughs> not actually, but it felt like forever. Um, just, they were just such a pain, but so worth it. So these, and then we went ahead and moved this little guy over here too. Little. I used to think that was such a big aviary. Uh, not by comparison, it looks tiny. But it's the one that I needed for little birds, like Ralphie. So, right now they're in the shade, but... Hi, Ralphie! Hi, baby! Um, the other ones, the bar spacing is too big. So, works great. Um, still kind of setting it up. Got to get the toys in here and stuff like that. Um, but we've got the Magic Fly Coop Heaters in all of these they were on last night because it got kind of cold every one of the birds was snuggled up with them they get up to 160 degrees they're totally safe um much safer than like heat lamps and bulbs i can't believe the amount of heat they put off i've raved about these before but um it's on amazon um and actually i think two, at least two of these were purchased as gifts off our amazon wish list so it was awesome hi and then of course we have the macaws hello uh-huh, and then here's the big update. Say hi! <laughs> this happy, happy, happy girl. She's with the cockatoos, um, and they've done fabulous. Hi, hi, hi. She's so talkative. Um, so this is Lola. Hi. Say hi. Aww. Hello. Say hi, Lola. So her owner was in Texas and needed to uh, surrender her, find a good home for her. And we had a mutual friend who knew me through like horse rescuing. She suggested us. She's been here for surprise, probably a month, two months or something. She was inside for a really long time getting to know us. She's so sweet with me, loves me. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me over her. She's very, very talkative. Hello. Are you coming down here? Come on down. Come on, Lola. I love these aviaries. You guys are so happy. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Yeah. Hi, baby. Poor Ben. We have all these birds. And all of them, all of them love me. And he can't touch any of them. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so sad. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. You're so loud in my ear. <laughs> uh huh. Can you go here? Good girl. Yeah. See, we love it. We love it. Yeah. I mean, I probably say this about all my animals, but like, it's definitely one of them that I want to continue to help and continue to create bigger better facilities so that we can take in more um they're just 
they're an animal that gets surrendered so often and so few people are actually equipped to care for them throughout their lives. So, yep, <clears throat> safe place for them to be forever happy and healthy and sort of enjoying what um, as closely resembles their natural environment. Right? Well, right now it's pooped on, but um, hi. For anyone wondering, this is all pine uh, that we strip the bark off of for the most part. They do help us strip it a little bit, but we make sure it's really dry, clean pine that is bird safe. Right? Yes. And these guys, hi, these guys have almost been here for like a year and they are definitely the happiest and healthiest, right? That they've ever been. They need their nail trim though. We're gonna get the nail clippers right now. It's, easy. it's pretty easy to do it um, because, yeah, they always have their little claws here. And I just go, Doop. right? Super easy. No one cares. I just went and checked on mom and baby. Gave milk to the goat. Started making my coffee but forgot about it. Um, pretty typical morning. But the vet office opened. My local vet office opened. And I called them. and gave them the whole story. Um immediately the receptionist switched me over to the vet and he talked to me for probably 10 minutes the other clinic had a thousand dollars and four days with them and I never spoke a single word to the vet despite me calling nine times not all vets are cre created equal and I hate saying that because I want to be able to back and support anyone in this animal industry that is trying to help animals, fix animals, make things better. Um, but I feel like I really gave them every opportunity and just, just horribly disappointed and, you know, sad for these two that the quality of care they got. My uncle, that's incredible and I feel so lucky. Anyways, what he said and what I, I agree, um, you know, giving medications, antibiotics in particular to the baby at this point is almost just as risky as not giving anything. As long as he doesn't start coughing more, doesn't stop eating, as long as he doesn't get too lethargic, then we're kind of just waiting and watching. Breakfast. Hmm? Breakfast. And even baby is like thinking he needs hay. <laughs> I don't think so yet. sweaty because I just built them a bigger pen. I look awful. I don't care. She has the full weight of her head on me right now. Just letting me pet her. This is like the biggest thank you ever. She's so sweet. I am completely in love with you. So this is the little makeshift thrown together in what time I had available this afternoon pen. Um, I just really wanted them to be able to, to get outside in the sun, especially with the respiratory issues, um, take naps in the sun. It's so nice out, but we have to make sure that they stay a certain distance away from all other equine. So they can't have a huge space out here, but this is this will do <laughs> it's not it's not a small space nobody's gonna take off running bucking or anything like that but they can get out here they can stretch their legs a little bit more baby could do some fun little circle circles and kick it and whatever um gosh this lighting she looks fantastic you can't even see her ribs at this angle 
well, there's also the swelling still there. Yeah, there, now you can tell. And I've noticed um, the food additive, the supplement for lactating mares. Um, somebody bought that off the list, so I'm very excited. I think that's gonna help a ton. What do you think? Huh? That little baby's bigger than you. Wanna go see baby? They might wanna be a friend. What is this hanging off of you? What is, no, let me get it. Let me, ah, oh, dang it. I have to wait till she's eating. I just gave you a haircut. I found someone that has free shavings. Basically they have a lumber company and so they have to empty their big mulching thingy mabobber on a regular basis. And so they offer free shavings and all you have to do is go and pick them up, which I was like, yes, sign me up because I'm spending $20 a day. <laughs> They're ready now and we can't go now because the alpacas had to go get their annual haircut today. So we had to pack them up and take them to the alpaca farm. Didn't have time to come back and go get the shavings today. So I have to get them first thing in the morning because he has to cut down a walnut tree tomorrow. And I don't know what kind, but black walnut at least is super toxic for horses. So he, yeah. So he asked me if I could pick it up before then. I have to unload this trailer so I could take it. I fill it with the shavings. And I just finished building a pen for the horses. It's been a very long day, guys. So the haulers did a really good job. They brushed her and treated her for the rain rot the first day that they had her. Um, but for anyone that doesn't know, this is basically what it is. Um, the hair comes off in like dead chunks and you can see like over here, there's still some. Um, and so basically all of her hair is pretty much gonna fall out. You're such a good girl. Thank you for not kicking me. Good girl. Um, yeah. I mean, just like that. It's just dry and irritated and awful. And we got some good, <laughs> good green mucus. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're so sick. Apparently, you can, he can not only climb the stairs on his own, he also can use the ottoman and the pillows to get on the bed. Just fed everyone outside their breakfast. Came up here to make the bed, I promise. I make my bed every day. And here he is just chilling like he owns the bed. Probably peeing all over it, so I'm sure I have to wash it. You're too spoiled. We've ruined you. Generally, I'm opposed to haircuts. And I will spend as long as it takes to get mats out of hair. But considering how bad hers was and also just like how nasty, unhealthy, filthy it is, I figured it was probably better to start with a clean slate. So now we have a haircut. Okay, let's go get some shavings. I think I'm sleepwalking. Also, seriously love this hoodie. Like this is my go-to. It's so soft. It's from Sharps. Sharps Pig and Pet. Um, now I love their clothes as much as I love their food. But anyways, it's so soft. It makes me want to go to sleep again. I don't want to do this. Keep the bed warm for me, okay? I'm just going to load like five 55-gallon barrels worth of shavings real quick. An hour away. And then I'll be back. And we can cuddle in bed. Okay? Just kidding. That's a lie. Then I have to disperse all the shavings amongst everyone and feed everyone and... I'll sleep later.